guys, welcome back to Midnight Violet and my 16 week update with twins! Do. I hope that you really liked my other two updates, I think we're just going to keep these every other week because there's not really enough to say every single week for you. This week I have written a little list on my phone of what I actually want to say because last time I forgot to say things and blah 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 blah, it didn't all come out. So I think the main kind of thing that happened in the last couple of weeks is I had another appointment, so I had my midwife appointment, the 16 week one I think it was. I think it was my 16 week appointment um, and it was quite straightforward really to be honest with you. I just went in, they tested my blood pressure and things and stuff um, and they said everything's good. Um, my blood pressure's gone up a little bit but I think that's pretty normal um, and I had low blood pressure before so I guess it's less of an issue but just keep an eye on it. Um, yeah and everything else was fine, it was quite a quick appointment, nothing particularly interesting, exciting went on really in all honesty. Um, my next appointment is in about four weeks time I've got another ultrasound scan which I am really really excited for. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to find out the gender then but I don't know. I know that we are able to, I just don't know if we will at that appointment if that makes sense. So the other thing that is probably really exciting, didn't happen this week, it happened last week so when I was 15 weeks pregnant and it happened three times. So I get the bus to and from work and quite often I have to stand up, that's just the way life works but three times last week I got offered a seat and all the other times I got a seat anyway so yeah I think I'm starting to actually look like I'm pregnant not just like I've got a bit of a fat belly which is quite nice like I did last time I'll show you at the end and just do a little wiggle but yeah my belly has again it's grown so big the science says that they are both the size of avocados now so imagine two avocados in my stomach and all the other gump that goes around them and yeah my belly has definitely grown like 100% grown and with that there's other things like there's kind of some stretching ligamenty stuff around the side which is fantastic um, and I seem to have developed really really dry skin but a little bit on my face I think I was saying it to someone the other day um, but especially on my stomach. I think it's just because it's stretching so much, it's just making it really dry and flaky. It kind of looks like I have dandruff on my stomach, which is disgusting, but I am trying to use um, nice hydrating, moisturising things on it to try and calm it down and moisturise it and hopefully prevent stretch marks because my stomach is so itchy as well. It's, uh, I'm sat here like, uh, trying not to itch my stomach. So I think now's probably a good time to actually share with you the products I've actually been using on my tummy. I think some of you are probably quite interested on that. So I'm probably like high maintenance here, but I've been using three different things. So the first thing that I've been using is Lush's Dream Cream. This is not something that I'm particularly using to get the hydration or whatever out of it, although it is quite good at that. I'm using it as it stops my skin being itchy. So if I'm sat home in the evening and my stomach is horrendously itchy, I just lather on some of this and it kind of calms it down and makes it feel a bit better for a while, which is awesome. Um, and this is supposedly really good for eczema, so it's probably going to do good things for my nice dry skin, or not so nice dry skin on my stomach. The other thing that I've been using is the Palmer's Tummy Butter for Stretch Marks. I love Palmer's stuff, it smells good, it does good, always been a fan of it. Um, so when I got pregnant, one of the first things I went out and bought, in fact I think it probably was the first thing I bought, was Palmer's Tummy Butter. It's really, really thick, I'll show you. So it kind of looks like that, you have to dig it out with your nail, but it kind of melts between your hands, and it is so hydrating. And it also smells really good. There's like a tint of lavender to it, I think. Yes, oh, it even says it on it, soothing lavender. But I hate lavender, but I do like the smell of this, so if you don't like lavender, don't let it put you off. So this does stay quite greasy and slimy on your stomach, so I'm only using this in the evening um, and then just going to bed and kind of leaving it to do its thing. And I'm only using that one on my stomach as well. So for the rest of my body, so like my boobs, my thighs, my hips, you know, that kind of thing. The other areas that are prone to stretch marks but probably not quite as... Yeah. <laughs> I've been using coconut body oil. This isn't like pure coconut oil, it's just the cheaper stuff that you can get in boots. I think it's about £2 for a, a jar like this. And again, it melts really easily, but this sinks into your skin really, really quickly. So I've been using this on my tummy in the morning when I kind of want to get dressed and put my clothes on and I didn't want it to be slimy all day. Um, and I've just been using that one all over as well. Those are what I have been using on my tummy for those that were interested. As far as other symptoms go, my tiredness is definitely kind of reducing. I actually went out today for, 
I don't know, about four and a half hours like on my feet and I didn't come home and go to sleep and like go walking around like a zombie, which was awesome. Um, I went across to a vintage fair. So we went down to one of those and I bought an Alice in Wonderland book and it's all it's so cute. It's like one of those old school penguin ones. I should have brought it to show you, but I didn't. And then we just wandered around town. I got some fabric from Fabricland and we went to Tesco's and we bought some petrol, oh, all of the exciting things. But I managed to actually do it, which is quite, for me in the last few months, quite unusual, so I'm quite happy with that. And I also went out for dinner the other day with my work, so Big Boss took us all out to dinner. And then I came home and I threw up all my dinner, which was fantastic, but at least I did it when I got home, not when I was still out with my colleagues, because that would have been so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I wasn't happy with that. Let's not go into details. But I thought at 16 weeks this was supposed to be like going. So hopefully that's like the last of that. And then after telling you horrific TMI stories about vomit, I thought I'd show you something cute. So when I was in Tesco today, my husband saw these cute little furry onesies. Um, they're like monkey ones. And kind of just had to pick them up, you know. So I thought I'd show you. They're so cute. We got them one each because, hey, they're twins. They need one each. So these are actually newborn size up to one month, but I think they're pretty big. I think they hopefully last more than just a month. And then on the hood, we've got little monkeys. They're so cute. And they're really like soft and cuddly as well. And because they're due in winter, something like nice and warm like this is going to be awesome for them. And they're just so cute. Last weekend, I also managed to drink a fruit smoothie, which if you saw my last update, I've not been able to eat fruit at all. So that was awesome. It was quite a small one. Um, and I'm gonna take it slow, but it went down okay. And yay, <laughs> fruit, I ate some fruit, yes. Anyway, that is all for my 16 week update. As I said with my other updates, if you've got any questions or there's anything I've not covered or something you want me to cover next time, then do let me know in the comments down below. I will reply to you all. So yeah, if you liked what you saw, then don't forget to subscribe down below. That would be awesome. And I will speak to you again soon. Bye guys.